What is happening, explorers? All right, firstly, I think this may be a squatter's house, or it was used as one. But as you saw from the opening shots, this is a, um, an old English style two-story home. It's also got um, the Cape Cod style windows, but you could be forgiven for thinking this was um, a home in England as well. Now, obviously, I did, I did get through that window. It was wide open. Open window policy. And the other thing, this place is going to be demolished. So I'm going to document it. I do remember this home going on to a demolition application over a year ago, but it seems the development plans have been approved, so it's going to be knocked down. So let's take a look around. Definite signs of squatters already. I don't know what these chains are. Look at these. They're like, um, you know what? This may have even been a, uh, a grow house of some sort. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a vent up there. Look. Well, at least this room was definitely a grow room. I think this was supporting a whole heap of equipment. Yep, there's the uh, silver tape. And there's a vent. I could kind of see through one of the other windows and it didn't look like it was all um, like this, so we'll check it out. Hello, anybody here? Whole bunch of sofas piled up there. Oh. Oh wow. This was a bathroom and spa. This place hasn't been lived in for a while. Look at that nice little spa area there with the um, garden growing over that. It's actually growing in here now. Those windows open. There's the shower there. like the kitchen. We'll go this way first. Paintings, paintings everywhere. Look at this old furniture. I think there was another one in that first room I walked in. This one's got the... Okay, that was the bathroom door, I think. This one's got the vents as well. Oh, 
All right, so it's a grow house again. But so they must have had it. Um, they must have had it a platform supported by these chains to still be able to have everything in here. They must have been doing it on a platform. Look at that John Wayne. John Wayne, I'll turn this off. That's pretty cool. Lots of lampshades as well. Everywhere. Jesus, heaps of them. Maybe they sold lampshades. And old lamps. See, check those out. They're the same as the other ones. That's the side door, or the front door, I should say. Oh my god, there's more lampshades there. Cobwebs. Just walked through. Uh, Nineteen fifty four, this place was built according to the real estate agent. See, this is the window I could kind of see in. Looks like I don't know what all that black stuff is. Looks like soot. But there's no smoke damage on the ceiling. Definitely a functioning fireplace. So, okay, maybe it was just trash from the drug growers and squatters haven't been in here. Again, it's in a really expensive suburb too. The other elaborate grow houses I found, they were in really expensive, or really upper class suburbs. So where did that go? No, just out there. So we'll go back and we'll go through the kitchen. And there's two levels, obviously. So we'll try and find the stairs to the second level. There's so many chairs as well.
more. They're nice old wooden ones, those ones. Hmm. Oh, there's, there's one of the old uh, classic um, tin and enamel light shades from the 50s, 40s and 50s. Okay, we've got stairs through there. Smashed windows. Actually, that's just open. Alright, let's go upstairs for a look. Look at the big chain. Look at the huge chain on that. Chain and padlock. an old cabinet. Big cobweb there, cobweb. What's this? It's just a little alcove. And another little alcove. Oh, there must be a toilet in there. Yeah. I can't really fit, I'll try it. There we go. Wow. You gotta maneuver yourself around that door to actually get in there. I've lost count of how many chairs. There was too many to even start counting. All right. Uh, it looks like it might be uh, trashed up here. Cobwebs. Just getting the cobwebs off my arms. Oh, we'll go this way first. How's the floor feel? Yeah, I think it's alright. Yeah. Filthy. Front. Looks as though they've um, got three bedrooms upstairs. It's a pretty good effort. Completely trashed, I see. There's those chains again. And the venting. Yep. So I guess they had to trash the ceiling to get all the uh, vents out. There's one more room. There must be a bathroom up here too somewhere. Oh 
another one. Well, there's two bathrooms. That's the toilet, actually. Yeah, three bedrooms. And they were all decked out to grow weed. So this place was definitely the same last year when the application and went in for demolition because it looks like this has sat for years in this condition. Hmm. All right, we'll go downstairs to see if I missed anything. All right, so there's not much going on in the backyard. It's not actually that big and all there is is junk, which I've shown through the windows. So we've pretty much covered the lot, guys. Covered the lot and discovered that this was a dope growing house. Now that's one I can tick off my list and another one I can add to my marijuana houses. Bit of a shame because it's a nice, or more than nice home. Well, you know what I mean. It was a nice home. But I have not seen the uh, chains from the roof kind of creating that elevated platform thing. It's the only way I can uh, figure out that they did it while keeping all the furniture in the rooms. Anyway, I'd say the place will be gone in a month or so. Jump in the comments guys, if you want to. Let me know your thoughts. And I'll cruise on to the next location, wherever that takes us. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Cheers guys, bye.